More people are injured in Alaska each year by moose than by bears. There's a bear. Oh, yeah. really? That's a bear. Sure, that was light there, I can confirm. Maybe Looks just a little a, shiny on the, on the leading edge. Yeah. We've got so much fuel, we could go all the way back to the U.S. right now. But that's for sure a dead end. The autopilot is being weird. What's it doing? It just disconnects right away. Yeah, you're right, it's about three hours. It might be three hours without an autopilot. Okay, we got some fuel. I love it here. It smells like Christmas trees. This pine tree is awesome sunset. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Okay, ATC clears November 367 Hotel Pampa to the McKenzie Airport via 108 Mile Airport Direct Altag Direct Maintain 10000 Squawk 4350 and leaving 6000 Old Contact Center on 134.0 108 Mile Traffic Bonanza 7 Hotel Pond Taxi Runway 15 108 Mile Now 108 Mile Traffic Bonanza 7 Hotel Pond is off of Runway 15 departing to the west 108 Mile Wow that is pretty out here Beautiful Cooper Center, Bonanza, November 367, Hotel Papa 6000, climbing 10000. Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa, Vancouver Center, good day, should, you, um, should have you on radar here shortly. 7 Hotel Papa. We should talk about bear and moose safety as soon as I'm done with breakfast. <laughs> Apparently, there are more moose encounters than bear encounters. Great, so I'll get killed by a moose. Interesting. More people are injured in Alaska each year by moose than by bears. You know, of course, we got all kinds of survival gear. We got food, waterproof matches, water, mosquito head nets, knives, everything you can think of. But it's also important to stay safe from the wildlife. So, uh, got this handy dandy little guide here. I don't know which, you know, the differences between grizzly bears and black bears. You know, black bears are kind of smaller, no hump on their back. The black bear comes at you, you want to fight back because they're not usually aggressive. If a, a grizzly bear attacks you, you want to like play dead, you know, lay flat on your stomach, cover your head and neck, that kind of thing. And uh, you don't want to run. But if it's a moose that's chasing you or coming at you, then you can run because they won't actually chase you. So it's, you know, you got to know all these differences between them and stuff like that. You want to have a long distance relationship with moose and bears. I saw my first moose in Montana. Oh yeah? It's the only moose I've ever seen. I don't think we saw any moose when we were in Alaska, did we? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. We saw some bear poop. Hey. Massive. We should look into that whole blade of grass situation. Blade of grass. Because the Alaska people were like, we pick up a stick or a blade of grass and then touch the poop to see how old it is and if the bear would be close by or if, in this case, the poop was old. We can just put a glove on and Owen can stick his finger in the poop. It will kindly pass. You would prefer no glove and to touch the poop? Now we're talking. <laughs> no glove gang. Vancouver Center Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa request. 7 Hotel Papa, go ahead. Uh, 7 Hotel Papa, for weather, could we go direct Drago? That's Delta Romeo Alpha Golf Oscar, Victor 321 Prince George, then direct. 7 Hotel Papa, firm review, you cleared as requested. Cleared as requested, 7 Hotel Papa, thank you. Okay. So we'll see what happens here. We can maybe even just get on top of this for now. Yeah, Center Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa request 1 2 12,000. 7 Hotel Papa, Roger, climb 1 2,000. Climb 1 2,000, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, thank you. Roger. So we'll climb on up and see if we can stay on top of this here. Earlier. Otherwise, we'll go down. Clear out your question. Clear And in about five minutes, we can go down to uh, 8,000 feet. So Good. give us a. Should Give us roughly, you know, a couple degrees Celsius. Yep. So this route you chose, the MEAs are 8,000? Well, you know, yeah, basically. Starting at Drago? In, or? in four miles, we can go down to eight. That's the off-route altitude. Okay. And then along that route, uh, 8,000, where, you know, as the off-route altitude becomes higher, the uh, minimum terrain altitude is 8,000 on that airway. Gotcha. I mean, so far we're we're looking decent. We just got to make it another like four miles if we need to descend. Yeah. 
Total air temperature is zero as we level off here. That should increase. This looks good so far. Okay, baby, let's level off here. Still doesn't look like we're getting anything. No seven hotel pop of the Quinell altimeter two nine nine zero. Two nine nine zero. Okay, so now we could go down to eight if we need it. All right. But we'll also be through this stuff in like three or four minutes. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. The cloud tops are showing maybe just a little bit further than the radar, but. See any clear ice? I don't see anything. Okay. Do you? I mean, maybe Looks just a little a, shiny a, on the on the leading edge. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I see just a very thin layer of something. We're getting a little bit up here. Send everybody into the seven hotel popper. Request eight thousand. Uh, seven hotel Papa, Roger. For now, I'm just into nine or thousand. Nine or thousand for seven hotel Papa, and uh, we're getting some trace clear icing, uh, negative four degrees Celsius. This doesn't even really seem to be building anymore. Right. And here, as we descend, we'll pick up some speed and increase that total air temperature. Melt this stuff right off. It's raining. So total air temp is positive one. Good. It's raining really hard. Such small droplets. Look at that. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's freezing. Nope. Looks like it's all gone on the windshield. Yep. And we got just a little bit more here coming up. Which this stuff's showing a little heavier up ahead. Center Bonanza 7 Hotel Pump. Are you depicting any precipitation uh, about 20 miles ahead for us? Seven Hotel Papa, uh, we actually don't have uh, weather radar beyond uh, just lightning strikes. So I am, um, there were two recent uh, strikes about 25 miles ahead of you there uh, at your 12 o'clock position. So I'm thank you. Could we fly uh, about heading 280 uh, for weather? Seven Hotel Papa, deviations approved. And sorry, did you say 280? Yes, 280 for Seven Hotel Papa. Seven Hotel Papa, that is approved, and change to my frequency 1338. Okay, that's approved in 1338. So, thanks to Sirius XM, we've got just enough information to navigate this bit of weather safely and actually get somewhere today. And Center Bonanza, Seven Hotel Papa, we'd like to cancel IFR. Seven Hotel Papa, I checked the cancellation. Uh, did you want flight following? Yeah, if we could get flight following, we're going to descend uh, a little bit. I don't know if you'll lose this on radar. Seven Hotel Papa, okay. I will uh, advise uh, if I lose you off radar there. And uh, you still want to keep the uh, alerting services uh, on the uh, flight plan? Yeah, you can keep the alerting for now. Seven Hotel Papa, Roger. So in Canada, one difference uh, from the U.S. is that when you cancel IFR, it doesn't cancel like search and rescue which is really pretty nice, like that right. makes a lot of sense. Like there are a lot of times where I could cancel IFR in the US where I don't, because I, you know, it's just nice to know that if something happens, somebody's gonna come looking for you. Yeah. Mackenzie traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel, Pomp is one three miles south, straight in runway 35, Mackenzie. That's pretty. Beautiful. Look at all those colors in the water. Good lunch here in Mackenzie, British Columbia. Uh, I got some fish and chips in town. The people at the airport have been fantastic. They had like a table for us to eat at, free ice cream, free sodas, pops, whatever you want to call them, stuff like that. It's just been fantastic. Now we're gonna hop over to this little gravel strip on the lake here, right in the mountains. Uh, Aspica, yes. There we Aspica. go. Go check that out, then head up to Whitehorse, Yukon, and over to Anchorage. And they said if we get 
to the next little fork and it's real bumpy, then it's probably going to be really, really bumpy going into Ospika. Yeah, maybe a low approach to see yeah. how this... Well, is it... Is it open on both ends, or is it one way in, one way out? Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? I'm going to have that Beach Boys song stuck in my head for a while. <laughs> You know what song you're talking about there, right? Nope. No, you don't know the Beach Boys? God, born in you're from California. Isn't that all you guys have out there? The Beach Boys? Yeah. No. You're from South Dakota. And I know about the Beach Boys. Look at that over there with like the light shining down through the clouds. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, look at all these beaches we could land on. It's kind of interesting how we're flying over the water. It almost feels like we're in a boat, you know, just like skipping yeah. over the waves and we're just skipping over the air. Yep. Speaking of traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is uh, kind of left base for runway 20. See a little approach, Aspika. Okay, so we'll put the gear down in a second, and this will basically be just as if we were landing, but we're gonna look at everything and see what we think. It's a gravel runway. Gravel okay. runway, it's a mile long, actually more than a mile long, up here at 2,300 feet. So we got one notch of flaps and then gear. We'll just come in and take a nice little look at this. Mounds are high enough. All right, okay. let's see here. So we get below the trees, it'll probably get a little gusty. Yeah, really gusty. Okay, so there's some tracks there's here. There's a deer. Yeah, that's our, yeah, there's a deer. Um, I mean, it, it looks pretty decent, I think. Yeah, no, I, um, I have no problem landing on this. I mean, the tracks do look a little, maybe deeper than I expected. Sure. But I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's too deep or anything by any means. Get the gear up. I don't even see anybody there. Oh, here's the uh, the logging. That's a log. Lo oh, that's a lot of logs. Wow. Okay, should we go back around and I say we give it a shot. Give it a try. Yeah. And Ospika traffic Bonanza Seven Hotel Pop is a left base from a two zero Ospika. Another log in the water here. I think so. Something like that. Oh, you got it. Let me get the flaps up. Those are the flaps. So you just right. shut down here. Damage. What do you think? I'm, I'm thinking We're not here, but like like on the end. runway. Yeah. Okay. There's a bear. Oh, See really? Oh, yeah. that's a bear. That's a, that's a, a little bear. Oh my god. It's okay. a black bear. The black bear. No hump. Wow. No I hump. have never seen a bear. Holy. Bear. I've never seen a bear before. I think. How I do you feel about getting out now? Oh. Where are you turning? Um. Well, I was gonna turn like here-ish. He's still well, there. We want to face this way. We want to face this way. We want to face this way. Why? So For we're what? looking at the plane with the mountains in the back. Yeah, so you're going to hop out here and get some pictures coming in with the mountains in the back? I thought you were going to shut down and just park in the middle of the runway. Oh. Well, I was thinking, as long as there's a bear right there. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Oh, well, right there. So what? There's a bear. So do you want to hop out and you can be right here with the telephoto and get some nice video of me coming, taking off and then coming in to land? Then Rachel can stay in the back since she doesn't want to get eaten by a bear. <sighs> So you're gonna take off land and then shut down. Are you gonna shut down or no? Uh, we'll see if there's a bear. You're, you're gonna taxi right by it. How cool is that? If I get mauled by a bear, he won't get mauled by a bear. He'll be okay. Wait, what do you do if you get attacked by a bear, Owen? 
beat his ass. No, tell me what you do. Oh, you uh, you play dead. No, if you get attacked by a black bear, a black bear comes at you. You want to fight back because they're not usually aggressive. You fight back. Fight back, okay. Oh, this is a black bear. This is a black, black bear. bear. Okay. okay. All right, bye. See ya. Aspika traffic, my name is the 7 Hotel Pop is backtracking. Runway 20, Aspika. Oh, he's gonna run away. Oh, where'd he go? Back into the trees. Okay, so we just stopped here in Aspika, British Columbia, and it is just fantastic. Amazing, this like mile long gravel strip, logging operation over there, right on the water in between all the mountains. It just looks fantastic. Taking in the views, then we're gonna head up to Whitehorse and then on to Anchorage. Aspika traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel, Pondo, so far, front way 2, Aspika. Terrain. Terrain. Warning. Terrain terrain system available. Yeah, I, I got that. So pretty. Yeah. The autopilot is being weird. Yeah, you're right, it's about three hours to Yeah. And it might be three hours with that autopilot. What's it doing? It just disconnects right away. I wonder if there's like a, a thing with the disconnect button or the trim or something. No, it can't be the disconnect. It's gotta be something else. Cause it doesn't actually, it just doesn't engage the autopilot. I almost wonder if it's like the autopilot on off switch. Isn't that, that's usually like, then it's like locked in the up when it's on, right? Cause you can switch it off with that. And now like there's nothing to switch off. So it's, I think it's that, like just the controller thing. You guys want to switch seats? <laughs> I don't want to fly for three hours. We can, we can. No, I'm just it. kidding. You can fly for three hours. You got this. You've done it before. Oh my gosh. We can also switch seats. <laughs> we'll make some calls when we land. It's not the end of the world, but it's annoying to happen. This short into a 50 hour trip. Fun stop, just epic scenery and no one around except a bear and a deer. But now we're off to Whitehorse. Apparently the autopilot has decided not to work. So, Garmin, let's talk. Do you want to just kind of hold it, follow the river here? That's a little stressful if you ask me. No, it's fine. Keep climbing, but don't go in the clouds. Just go about like this. You got this. Push down just a little bit there. Keep it about in there. You can even hold the right rudder in. Put your right right foot on the right pedal. Push and remember keep that tripod in the or that trapezoid in the I'm not comfortable. Center. No, you got this. It's fine. I regret my choice. It'll be fine. There's no there's absolutely nothing you can do that will be a problem. How am I doing? You're doing spectacular. You could oh. level off here. We'll just keep like eighty five hundred, okay? So put the nose down, just level off at 8,500, so you're at 86, so let's go down just a little bit. You can add some nose down trim so it's not so heavy. You're doing such a good job. Ridiculous. I'm stressed out though. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, you got this, just hold it right here. Are you having fun, Owen? Oh, great. You're doing great. You got this, you don't even need, I could go in the back with Owen. Please don't. I don't know if over the mountains was the right idea. Why? Uh, just starting to get more clouds. Looks like there might be some weather up ahead on this route about another 150 miles or well, so. Well, the, the valley's still right there. Yeah. You just gonna go up to like Watson Lake and then cut over? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This might still be an IFR kind of thing. What do you mean? Look up ahead. Oh boy. Yeah, you might be able to get over this. 
Maybe, it's kind of this next little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Also be interesting to see what the temperatures do. Three Celsius here at 9,500. This is the trouble with flying in the mountains in the middle of nowhere where there's no weather reporting. So we know that you know all the airports around here are, have plenty of high ceilings, easily solid VFR. And right here in the mountains, that is most definitely not the case. Can you pick up an IFR? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, the, the question there, though, is the temperatures and icing. Right. There's 10,000. Still two degrees. One degree. I wonder if we just go to the east a little bit and try the other ri little river valley. That's a little lower. East? Then, yeah. Really? Behind us? Yeah, I mean, that's just a wall of cloud right now. But it looks like there the terrain stays a little bit lower. Okay, well just keep in mind your fuel if we have to turn back. Oh, we've got so. we've got so much fuel we could go all the way back to the US right now. Okay. Feels like getting to tell you right from Albuquerque. Right. So now that we're up here further north in Canada, we're beyond Sirius XM coverage. There's not a lot of weather reporting stations out here anyway, but we can get just a little bit of information here and there uh, with this Iridium data link weather. Well, there's always Fort Nelson, but I doubt they have fuel. Well, they have fuel. Where is that? North east by 100 miles. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of straight this direction, where these clouds are a little lower. I could try it. Try heading in that direction for now. Sure. From there to Anchorage, flying is about six hours of flying tomorrow. <laughs> Remember when we had seven hours today? Right. Yeah. And you don't have an autopilot. Do we have a TAF at either of those other two? Uh, CYYD, is there a TAF there? Light shower is broken 10,000. Otherwise scattered 10,000. So that sounds pretty promising. And what is Port Nelson calling it? Overcast 3,000. Going down to 1,500, 800. So, uh, yeah, not looking great for the morning and stuff. Yeah, I think let's go CYYD and then CYXT. Okay. Okay, well that was fun. So we can go back and... We're gonna head back the way we came. We, uh, we came, we saw, we did not conquer. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a change in plans. We thought we were getting to Anchorage tonight, going to Whitehorse, going up the trench, and then the weather just didn't work for that despite the forecast. So we're heading towards the coast. Uh, I'm gonna end up in... Terrace. In British, Terrace, British Columbia. And then we'll head to Alaska in the morning. Uh, hi, I was wondering if you have any availability tonight. Okay, you do have one room. It's an American Express. Terrace Radio, Bonanza, November 367, Hotel Papa, eight and a half to the uh, north northeast landing terrace. November 367, Hotel Papa, Terrace Radio, Roger, Fred Runway is 15, wind 140 at 6, altimeter 29 or 86. Okay, 29 or 86, and uh, landing runway 15, Bonanza 7, Hotel Papa, thank you. Roger, I do have a vehicle on the runway, I'll advise when they're off. Okay, thank you. So this is Terrace. Wow, this is pretty. Terrace Radio, Bonanza, 7 Hotel Pop is turning about a uh, 5 mile final, runway 15, Terrace. 7 Hotel Pop, Terrace Radio, Roger, and all vehicles are off, runway 1533. 7 Hotel Pop, copy that. Okay, so obviously today didn't exactly go as planned. We are still in Canada. Feel pretty good about tomorrow. And this place was awesome. We got some amazing views on the way in. Here in Terrace, British Columbia, sort of right on the coast. And we'll get up in the morning and just head up the coast towards Anchorage. Anchorage.